Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today will be the second part of our, our Doors, uh, Remaking Doors in Roblox Studio um, series. Uh, today what we're going to be implementing is actual doors in these, uh, these door frames. So what I did here, in case you haven't noticed, I actually shrunk down all of the, uh, the frames for the hallways. I shrunk them down to nine height and six width. So if we go ahead and look here, the width is six and the height is nine. It just, it gives off more of like a, um, of an actual door instead of it being too wide. So that's all I did. Um, today, we're gonna be implementing actual doors that you can open and close into our uh, doors game. So what I he have here is a door model. Um, we're gonna go ahead and redo this whole thing for you guys so um, and build it from scratch so that you guys can uh, st follow along. So let me just go ahead and delete this and uh, insert a new part. So this will be our um, this will be our frame that we're gonna build. So what we're gonna do is we're going to build it around the uh, the door hole right here. So you know, keep it keep it keep it uh, you know simple. If you want to keep if you want to make it a little bit detailed, you can. But uh, we're just gonna go ahead and build a quick little frame around this door here, like this. So now that we have the frame, let's just go ahead and, and see if we like how that looks. Let's go ahead and see. Yep, that looks good, I think. I think that looks good. So um, now what we're gonna do is before we uh, union this and just name it door frame, we're going to duplicate the left side of it. And we're going to, yeah, that's all we're gonna do. We're just gonna duplicate the left side of it and we're gonna name this hinge like that. So now what we could do is we can union these, make them one thing, and just name it door frame. Or actually, let's put a space in there. So now that we have that, we have that and the hinge. Next, what we're gonna do is we're going to make the actual door. So we could duplicate the hinge. We could just move that down so it actually is in the door frame. And we'll just go ahead and size that down a little bit so it actually looks like a door. There we go. And we'll just make it a uh, different color here. So that will be our actual door, and what we will name this is we will name this base, our base door pretty much. So once you have all this stuff, you can just go ahead and duplicate all of that, and we can name this door. And inside the base, we're going to just go ahead and insert a proximity prompt. We can make it max activation distance 7, hold duration, we'll make it uh, 0.5, and um, we'll just change interact to open. So now if we go up to the door, you can see there's now a proximity prompt. Obviously it doesn't do anything yet. We haven't coded it, but we will write now. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and insert a script. This will be our handler pretty much. We'll just go ahead and name this handler. And what we're going to start off doing is just defining the model. So we'll go local door model equals script by parent. Then we're going to go local hinge equals door model only for child hinge then we're gonna go local um base equals door model only for child base and then local prompt equals base colon wait for child proximity prompt just like that so once we have all that go ahead and enter next what we're going to do is we're going to actually define the um, the uh, tween service. So we're going to go local tween service. This game called get service tween service. Now we can actually make the um, the tables that will hold the open and close uh, animations for the door. So we'll go local goal open equals uh, brackets goal open dot c frame equals hinge dot c frame oh and another thing i forgot you want to make sure that the hinge make sure that the base is unanchored make sure that the hinge is welded to the base so hinge to the base that's it base unanchored hinge anchored 
uh, hinge welded to the base. Hinge dot C frame times C frame dot angles um, zero math dot rad ninety zero. So what this is doing is just basically making basically making the door open at a ninety degree angle. If you want to open a little bit more than a ninety degree angle, you can make this like a hundred. Um, but we'll keep it ninety. Now we'll do local go close, and we'll go go close um, equals, I mean, not equals, go close dot C frame equals hinge dot C frame times C frame dot angles, and then we'll just go zero, zero, zero. So we're just setting it back to what it started out at. Then we'll just make it a tween info, so we'll go local info equals tween info dot new and we'll go 0.5 and we will go enum dot even file dot quint so now that we have that let's actually make the uh the actual tween animations set up so we'll go local tween uh open equals tween service colon create hinge so we're going we're getting the hinge we're putting the hinge first this is basically how uh tween service uh works so you put the uh, object that you want to tween first, then you put the info, then you put the goal. So this is the tween open, so we'll put goal open, and we'll go local tween closed equals tween service, colon create, hinge, info, goal, close. Now we'll, now we'll script the, oh, and then one other thing, local debounce equals uh, false. So now we'll script the uh, prompt. So we'll prompt that triggered, colon connect, function, that then we'll go um if debounce equal equals false then debounce equals true wait on uh, seven debounce equals false then enter enter we're going to code in this little uh area between this this right here the debounce function so what we're going to do next is we're going to go if prompt dot action text equals close then prompt dot action text equals open else prompt dot action text equals close and then we'll just play it so we'll go tween close colon play and then we'll go tween open play. so if we go ahead and test this out you can see now if everything is working we can open and close the door one other thing we're gonna do we're going to make this invisible forgot to make the hinge invisible we'll go like that and we'll also make it so you can't uh, collide with it there we go pretty I like it's pretty good obviously very basic but you can you know spice it up as you want if you are if you are wanting to add details to the door i'll show you how to do that right now you let's say you wanted to add like a um like a plate right on like the front of the door like a gold plate i'm gonna show you how to do it right now so we'll just do like that and we'll just go like this so that's on both sides like that all right so now what we'll do is we'll just make it actually gold and we'll change this to metal so this would be like let's say we have this we'll just name this plate what we'll do is we'll put it inside the base and make sure it's unanchored make sure whatever you have is unanchored and we'll take the base and we'll weld it to whatever you want to uh, add on for detail so now you can hit play and the plate will move with the door so that's how you basically add you know whatever details you want to your door and uh yeah pretty simple so now what we'll do is we need it for every room, obviously. So we'll take the door and we'll put it inside a replicated storage. So if we go inside of our generation script, you can see that um, it's the same as last time. So what we're going to do is we now need to write in a function to spawn in the doors for um, every room. So we'll go local cloned door 
equals replicate storage dot colon wait for child door colon clone clone door dot parent we'll just go we'll go clone room we'll put it in the room it's actually supposed to be in um then we'll go cloned door another thing i forgot i keep forgetting um you need to set the primary part of the door so we'll go like this so we'll uh, grab uh, the hinge we'll duplicate it and make it the entire size of your actual door so make sure that you have that you have the studs consistent because you want to make this the like pretty much the exact size of your door and we'll just keep that one and we'll name this uh primary and then make sure that the can collide and all that stuff is off so you can actually go through it and we'll set the primary part of the door model to that so we'll put that back in replicate storage so now we'll go clone door colon pivot to cloned room dot exit dot c frame pretty sure that's that's the one we want and then we can just do um uh well this is another thing we're gonna do we're going to disable the code inside the door so the handler disable it inside the door and then we'll re-enable it here when we put it in so we'll just go we'll go um like this wait cloned door dot handler dot enabled equals true so now if we go ahead and test it out you can see that every room now has a door in it which is pretty cool every single room that we generate will have a door in between the uh, room and the other room that you can open and close so that's basically how you now generate doors in uh, your game that open and close that actually have a nice tween an uh, animation to them um, and aren't just like you know training the transparency and can collide and all that stuff and if you want to make like numbers on the door to show what room number it is I will show you how to do that right now so we'll just put the door back and we'll go ahead and insert into the plate a surface GUI with a hex label and let me think it's going this way okay so we have to put it on the side so we'll go left okay and we will make it one zero, like that we'll put the background of that we'll do this whatever you whatever font you want it doesn't really matter and we'll just name this zero because it you know it's just whatever rename the surface gui inside the plate to room number and um yeah you can put it back into replicate storage so now we have to make some edits here so what we'll do is we'll go cloned door dot plate or actually um we'll go like this local plate equals cloned door and five for child i mean clone door dot base on five first child plate if plate then then we'll go if plate then plate dot room number dot text label dot text equals this is what we're gonna do now well this is this is what we're gonna do now so we're gonna put inside the function in these little brackets we're gonna put room number so what we'll do is we'll go room num like that and in this little thing for each room for i equals one num rooms do generate room we're gonna send over the actual number by putting i in there so you're sending it over when you call the function, you're sending over what room number it is. We get it up here and we put it inside the text label right here. So now if we hit play, each room, each door should have the room number on it and it should go up. So as you can see, we have one and you can see we have two and you can see we have three, four and all the way up until 10. And there you go. That's basically how you make uh, the actual room number on uh, all the doors so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial next tutorial we're going to be making curved rooms so more advanced rooms 
uh, not just you know straightforward right now because that's really all we have right now is just a uh, straightforward line but we'll actually have it so that they uh, they curve and uh, you know make it more make it look more you know cool than just a straight line but I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial um, if you did please subscribe like the video all that stuff um, and uh, leave any concerns or comments in the uh, in, or questions in the comments below and I will see you in the next video